Hey YouTube, we are going to start using our vertical chainsaw mill today. We have to assemble this dolly that I got from Harbor Freight and start bringing over pieces from the garage and finally clearing up some garage space. Before I get started, I just want to make sure and emphasize that this is very dangerous and I bought this saw last week and it took me about an entire week of watching safety videos and reading the manual multiple times to be comfortable even starting it. I won't be freehanding any of my sawing anytime soon and that's why I made the vertical chainsaw mill to help guide all of my cuts. I would say the minimal amount of safety gear is safety goggles in-ear plugs, N95, good gloves, the helmet with the face shield and over the ear protection and good saw chaps. The saw came like this from the shop. It's brand new. I'm sure they tuned it for me, but I'm going to go through all the steps of checking fuel, checking bar oil, making sure the chain is tensioned correctly. And this will be my first time starting it. Luckily, I was able to get it to start and did not flood the chamber, followed all the instructions. The sound was pretty intimidating and I want to maintain a healthy respect for milling and chainsaws. I definitely don't want to hurt myself. I put a 2x10 underneath to kind of stop it and line it up with the pallet on where I'm going to make the first cut. Unfortunately, we are not milling today. I got it to start twice, but the second time, I forgot to put it in the on position, so I left it at half choke, and I engaged the chain brake, and it started to spin on its own, so I turned it off. And then I tried to start it the third time. I ended up pulling it 10 times in full choke, and there was no burp, and I think I flooded it. So I'm just gonna take it into the shop tomorrow, have them take a look, make sure I'm not causing any more damage than I should be. And hopefully we will mill tomorrow. So we got the saw back from the shop. The local dealer said there's nothing wrong with it. What I was doing wrong was I did a full choke before every time I started it. And he says a full choke is only necessary when it's a cold start. So I should have been just trying to start it from the half choke. However, the saw has been sitting for more than 24 hours, so I will start with the full choke and hopefully we can get it started so I can make my first cut right now. I am glad that I didn't cause any damage to the saw, but let's get it down to the full choke and try to get it to burp. Press the decompression valve down and that was the burp. Get it up to half and see if it starts.
That was crazy. My hands are definitely shaking a little bit. But let's take a look at my first chainsaw cut. And that's that's not bad. That's a beauty. Let's keep milling. I'm going to stop the milling video here. The first two pieces I cut were these ones on the side that I'm going to use to hold future pieces that I am going to mill just to give it a little more stability. The chainsaw, again, was very fun, but also very dangerous. Please, please be careful if anybody does try this at home. I love it. We are going to keep milling. There will be plenty of milling footage in the future. 17th video done. <laughs>